Hello, I'm Francine Wonder, Head of Business Development and Marketing for OneConnect by Panasonic. And I'm here today with John Bautista, CEO and founder of Tropos Technologies. Welcome, John. Thank you, Francine. So, John, let's start talking about Tropos and OneConnect and the great partnership uh, that the two companies have formed. What's the big news? Uh, Tropos is now going into production with OneConnect. Is that right? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so th we're going to be launching our product line now and with the OneConnect product integrated into it. Um, we plan on having the OneConnect system in every vehicle that we produce going forward. And then the customer will have the opportunity to subscribe to um, get the information that's available from the OneConnect system. Fantastic. Now, can you tell me a little bit about the evolution of this partnership? What kinds of challenges were you facing and were your customers facing, their fleet customers, right? Um, what kind of challenges were they facing that ultimately led you to OneConnect and to an end-to-end -end connected platform? Well, you know, the, the OneConnect is, um, is a system that is up until now has not been available to um, fleet operators that are utilizing vehicles in our light vehicle, low speed vehicle category. So this is a you know first time that they're going to be able to get fleet tracking and fleet monitoring capability that was available, uh, is now available for larger uh, vehicles, on-road vehicles and off-road vehicles um, in our category and class. So up until now, our customers have not been able to get the information that we can provide for them with the Panasonic One Connect system. So um, they are really excited about the opportunity to be able to have another tool to help them minimize the, the operating costs and, and maximize the uptime for their entire fleet. Tropos Able Vehicle product line is in the category in the United States of LSV, which stands for Low Speed Vehicle. Um, in Europe, it's considered what's called a L7 ECU uh, quadricycle. I know that sounds pretty complicated, but it, basically it's the same thing. It's a low speed vehicle that's allowed, is street legal, um, but is speed limited for safety. And these vehicles are beneficial um, as electric vehicles first, obviously they reduce the carbon footprint and, and on you know, negative sort of impacts to the environment. But what are uh, municipalities using them for um, now that, you know, for example, other types of vehicles uh, can't do? The unique aspect of our, our uh, opportunity that our, our vehicles provide is to be able to give a big vehicle capability, so payload carrying capability and performance capability in a very, in a much smaller package. This has been beneficial for you know, college campuses, corporate campuses, municipalities, as well as last mile delivery. The last mile delivery being kind of the hot segment right now. Our vehicles are small and nimble, meaning they can, you know, fit through tight spaces and, and literally, you know, turn in a very small, you know, small radius. Um, so this allows them to navigate through uh, production floors, go up and down, and, and it's small package size, so it can go up and down freight elevators, um, in Europe, uh, as you know, they have very, in their city centers, they're very congested with, you know, very ancient streets that are very narrow. Um, so it, our vehicles really help in those areas because they're, um, they are small and compact, but can carry, you know, large payloads. Having real time data on the health of the vehicle itself and having real-time data that enables these fleet customers to track the vehicle and understand you know its battery charge level and all of that kind of information is i would guess very important and and is that something that that was is novel i mean they couldn't do that in the past without say a one connect there are some systems out there for, that are largely GPS based, so they can only really track the vehicle and tell you how fast it's going. Uh, you know, but the One Connect is able to take, you know, it, a suite of onboard, you know, vehicle sensors, um, and then also collect uh, system data, you know, from the um, the operating systems of the vehicle and the drive system and the battery, 
uh, as well as gather GPS tracking information and you know really give the fleet operator a look of you know a look of where the vehicle is you know what what its condition is and you know and, and how it's being operated so it would make sense that there's a big correlation between keeping the vehicle in good working order and maintaining it properly and maximizing the productivity of the fleet right so um, first of all, how big of a cost driver is maintenance and keeping the vehicle you know, in good working order? How, how much of a challenge is that for your customers? And how does the OneConnect platform address that cost issue and help improve cost savings and productivity for the customer? So the maintenance cost is, is pretty much like 60% of, the, of the, the cost of operation. Aside, aside from energy. Um, in an electric vehicle, the energy cost actually goes down significantly, um, and the maintenance cost actually goes down significantly because there's a lot fewer parts and components that could fail. That being said, the components that you know could affect the, the uptime and the operation of the vehicle are, are highly important to monitor. So the OneConnect system is really allowing the operator to see all this data and, and to react to um, indications that there could potentially be a failure or there could, or definitely, you know, make sure that we're staying on track with maintenance. So I would guess that if there is a failure, I mean, the trickle down impacts in terms of costs are pretty significant, right? I mean, what are, what are some of the things that happen when say a vehicle breaks down um, as a result of, you know, a lack of maintenance. So typically when you have a breakdown, it's it's not only, it never happens conveniently, <laughs> you know, so if you can, it, it never happens in the yard where it's going to be, you know, repaired. So it's more than likely going to be on the road. It's probably going to be in some place that's, you know, very difficult to get to. So if you can predictively um, service the vehicle or maintain the vehicle ahead of a failure or see the indication that a failure is coming uh, before the loss of operation of the vehicle, um, that that goes a long ways in, in reducing the cost of dealing with any kind of a, you know, a vehicle, a, you know, system failure or whatever it is. The other thing that, that our system allows um, the operator to do is to be able to communicate with the, the vehicle in the field. Um, there's, you know, coming soon will be the ability for um, there to be a 911 call out. So if the operator of the vehicle has an emergency of any sort, um, they can actually manually call out from the vehicle using the OneConnect system, or even the system could automatically do it if it senses some sort of an issue with the vehicle. So that remote access for the OEM is pretty important. Um, and tell me a little bit about um, being able to update the vehicle through uh, FOTA and what that means to um, you know, an OEM like Tropos Technologies. Us and Panasonic continually want to be improving this, you know, this system for the operator and the, the fleet owner, but we don't want to be bringing the vehicles in uh, you know, to the yard uh, you know, to, be, you know, to perform uh, routine updates to firmware and software. You know, um, yes, potentially if we have to update the hardware, but all of this firmware and software can be pushed and updated over over the, you know, over the air. Tell me a little bit about the evolution of the partnership between Tropos and Panasonic. For example, you know, in terms of the visualizations and the dashboards and what's now coming on the horizon from a user interface standpoint for the OEM, um, how uh, has it been working with Panasonic and you know, are, are these um, tools that Panasonic provides beneficial and helpful to an OEM in terms of understanding how to move forward in their business? Thank you for asking that because, you know, I, I feel that, you know, Tropos has been very, very fortunate uh, to be able to work with um, Panasonic uh, as a technical partner uh, for in the last three years now. It's, it's going beyond three years. So um, it's been a real fun relationship you know we're we're really technocentric you know so anytime that we can develop some sort of new technology or system or you know collaborate Panasonic's like this really great big brother you know who has all this um, you know uh, great resources great knowledge and experience 
and to be able to work together to develop technologies such as One Connect, um, you know, is really exciting because you know it's you know, we're introducing something that's a um, you know, very powerful, um, very beneficial, you know, to you know, to customers and end users. We've had you know, engineers and teams here working with us, and we've actually gone to. Um, um, Panasonic, some of Panasonic's facilities. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to go to Japan and and, and work with, and visit one of the uh, engineering facilities there. So that was a treat as well. So, um, you know, overall, uh, it's been a great, great partnership. And and One Connect is you know one of those you know proud fruits of our of our relationship. So, John, I know we're in the early stages of production, um, but I'm curious about, uh, I guess, the appetite of your fleet customers for this integrated, or I should say pre-integrated, end-to-end solution. And basically, what are your thoughts on the value of that pre-integration for these customers um, and whether you know there's a, a continuous sort of appetite on their part for for more of, of what you're providing. What are you seeing among your customers? You know, typically when you in, introduce some sort of a new technology, you know, into the marketplace, you know, there's going to be yes, there's always going to be some first adopters who really can kind of get it right out of the gate. Um, but for the large part, people are going to want to see what it's about, you know. So, by pre-installing the equipment and and really making it an option, really for them to, you know, to opt in for or opt out of, um, they want to they want to experience it first. And um, you know, I have every confidence in the world that they very quickly will understand, you know, how this system different differentiates itself from, you know, just a basic GPS tracking system. So with that said, it sounds like you see a bright future for the partnership of Tropos Technologies and Panasonic. What are your thoughts about what's on the horizon, um, you know, in terms of this partnership and connectivity? Well, what we see is, you know, not only is, is our customer base growing, uh, but the needs of our customer um, is is evolving. You know, it, it's it's there's a lot of interest in working with us you know i guess if i had to differentiate ourselves from you know tropos from our competition um, it's our our willingness and our ability to work with the you know the fleet owner the end user of, the, of our vehicles to really optimize the, our product in, for their you know for their maximum value i guess you know, maybe that's an oversimplification, but you know, we listen to our customers' needs and change our or or develop something that will help them, you know, improve the the use capability of of the product um, from you know um, developing payload packages that are specific to their needs, or to you know providing systems. And you know, expanding our ecosystem around the fleet uh, to give them everything that they need to be able to maximize the use of their fleet. You know, whether it's you know, fleet financing to fleet monitoring and maintenance that the One Connect is able to give um, to custom solutions. There you have it, a real case example of an electric vehicle fleet using One Connect by Panasonic as a pre-integrated end-to-end solution to reduce cost uh, and improve vehicle uptime and gather and capture deep vehicle data in order to uh, improve its outcomes. John, thank you so much for participating today in this Tech Talk for One Connect by Panasonic. And I'd like to thank the audience very much for watching. If you have any questions about Tropos or One Connect, please feel free to reach out. Francine.wonder at us.panasonic.com. Thank you.